we are swinging away at finishing off Planet Smithen. We've got our big mechs up and running, full heavy lance, and an attack defense contract to have fun with. At least it's polar. These are tough contracts. We're going to take the Kentaro out. We're going to put the Orion in. Can't think of too much more we need to do to make this happen. Okay, so for attack defense missions, you basically need to split your lands. You need to send two fast mechs um, to attack the enemy base while holding uh, your own base. There can be some additional help on the map, which we are going to hope for. And hopefully it all kind of comes together. But it's one of those sorts of missions that can fall apart pretty fast. Planning on sending probably the quick draw and the dragon to the front, keeping the Orion and the Thunderbolt in reserve. This also makes sense because both, uh, both those mechs have LRMs, not a ton, a ton of them, but they do have them. They've got long range capability and should serve well on defense. So here it says if both legs are destroyed, a mech is removed from combat. There are interesting canon uh, stories like the Battle of Takayid where legged mechs, uh, obviously the upper torso would still be working and there's some interesting stories of like fanatical com guards crawling their way like zombies to try and stop enemies, the clans. Not a thing that's ever been featured in any game, as far as I know. As far as I know, in the lot of them, lagging mechs is the same as winning. Torian Terrace. I guess for now they would technically... technically be terrorists. Okay, so they... laid it out for us. Looks like this base has... Three turrets. Here's the enemy lance. We're going to try, and this mountain is in the way. Um, we are going to try and go around them. That flank seems better, but it's probably going to take too long. We have jump jets, so we might just might just jump over the mountain. Okay. 
as much as possible. We will try to... In fact, it might have been better to put another scout in this mech. But we're going to try and keep sensor locks prevalent. We'll reserve once. What we don't want to do is... rob our LRM turret a chance to shoot at things. We landed kind of neatly on that rock, didn't we? Okay, we got a commando. There's a 70 tonner. Be kind of curious to see what that is. 70 ton mechs are always kind of interesting mechs. More than likely a grasshopper, but we'll see. A warhammer. Interesting. That's better because the warhammer has to walk it. like to do is be in range. It's probably better. Wipe a little bit more. Two, there we go. We'll just keep working here on this evasion. Let's just reserve here. Sensor locks. Good to know that those turrets can sensor lock. like Glitch's high spirits have worn off, which is a shame. More time wasted, which is good. Phoenix Hawk? Yeah, it is. Kill the units if we can. Um, we've got our job to do first. We've got evasion. Let's just reserve for a turn. Okay, looks like that all paid off pretty well. I think we'll change to attacking the Warhammer.
was talking about a rear armor shot on the commando. Uh, these missions do give you a lot of opportunities to shoot at rear armor. Trying to stack as much damage as we can before things get serious. Their pilots aren't that great. Not too bad. We might get a knockdown, buy us some more time. <laughs> uh... Dragon's getting all shot up by the rockets that are missing. Uh, that's okay. Got a defender falling back, probably smart. Looks like there are two lances on the field. Ah, PPC, we don't like to see it. All right, I think we'll just jump and shoot our LRM at him. This uh, hill is robbing our turrets of a lot of their advantage. Sensor lock, probably not gonna matter too much. Is it enough for the knockdown? It was. Probably gonna ignore him for the rest of this round. More than anything, we want these guys to 
flirt with cresting this hill so our turrets can shoot at them. But we can probably do something interesting with this shot. Let's go ahead and vent our heat really quick. That looked like good shooting. Yeah. Yeah, that was a kill shot. Cool. Pew, 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 pew. All right, Behemoth. Still have a ways to go. Let's just press. Do we have any sort of hops over here? Not really, not without eating up a lot of time. That might do. She doesn't really have any shots on anyone. Kind of depends on whether or not we're looking to waste the defender's time. Let's make this play, play it safe a little bit. All right, Warhammer's back up on his feet. That shot made it through. So it looks like our turrets have the line of sight that they need. So we're probably going to hold this and do everything we can to delay them here. Not too much getting through there. They in there. They're getting pretty close. An R90? I know what an R60 is. I do not know what an R90 is. And does it have have two Act 20s? Maybe. Probably smart to reserve the dragon one more turn. They're shooting at us. That was a pretty decent hit though. We don't want to take too many like that. Probably time to reveal the uh, Orion as well. Fifty-five tonner. It must be a griffin. Okay. I gotta just scout out this warhammer really quick. So its far side is what's damaged. What we want to do is want to jump something like this, but something that gives us line of sight as well. That seems like an amazing shot. I guess that's what we'll do. Uh, enjoy the pain.
Nice. Oh, that, that went well. Okay. Probably do this Phoenix Hawk next, is what it seems to me. Don't really mind if they shoot at the Orion for right now. Okay, here we are up on the hill. We got here a Kentaro, I see. Pretty good defender. Oh, I didn't even look at what this R90 was carrying, and I was curious about that. And both shots missed, that's a disappointment. That's a lot, though, to get shot by. Probably going to end up moving Tihashi right away. We'll see, though. That's what it's looking like. This should be a big gun, I think. Oh, it's got a PPC. Oh, that's funny. I guess jumping right at it was the right call. All right, time to go. Hopefully we can get close enough to pester this turret. Looks like we can. Keep sidestepping. Well, the turrets are damaged. Thank goodness for that, honestly. Hits on the arm shouldn't matter. Okay, let's look over here and see if there are any moves I need to make right now. It looks like there are, because we can down this, uh, this Phoenix Hawk. I want to see if we can do it with the LRM5. That's not a bad jump. All right. goes over. Oh, 
Okay. Fire two, just to make sure it goes down. Okay. Destroying turrets is a pretty good source of resolve as well. All right, we're gonna position ourselves in a way that we can get a clear-ish shot on the Phoenix Hawk. That's the end of him. That should give the turrets, yeah, clear rain to focus on. Focus on the final attacker. Missing for days with those PPCs though. It's killing me. I guess they're not any better though, are they? Well, we we are worse so far. <laughs> LRM launcher. There we go. Uh, they had a chance to shoot at buildings and they didn't take it. It doesn't really matter at this point. You. Oh, it's got medium lasers as well. Getting through armor. Let's look at uh, Tihashi's armor and see what the situation is there. Yeah, that would be a definitely be a bad arm to lose. As much as possible, I think we'll play evasively with him. In fact, can we jump across into this other line of sight? We can. It's not going to fix everything, but it does give... Uh, Put our arm on the opposite side. It's not like serious, serious, but it's kind of serious. So it looks like we need to do about 80 damage. Firing everything would be smart to make sure it does go down. Okay. LRMs probably. Not too much going on. Behemoth is doing a good job keeping them busy. Uh, luckily, this entire lance we're capable of totally outmaneuvering, except for maybe the javelin. So, that's good news. I think we'll just jump down here and show them our back. And if we can, we'll take out the uh, LRM turret. Okay. All right. 
we managed to isolate this entire lance for now. They'll have to run at us. If we can, we'll do the kill. Well, let's see if the turrets can get the kill. The turrets did not get the kill. We were hoping that we would have an opportunity to press forwards instead, but that's all right. We'll 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 wipe them out here and then reconnoiter with our allies. This reinforcement wave is about to show up. Okay. So what we'd like to do is kill this turret. Be done with it. Defenders should have lost their LOS on us. Will not know what to do. We actually are within range of the bays. It's tempted to help them focus on that because then we can bring the lance back, which is the whole reason they're up there in the first first place. for health. We're just going to shoot shoot both of them. All right, so they're going to land pretty much right next to that lands. You could see why going over the mountain was necessary, and taking that other flank would have taken way too long. Because we're about to get pressed again. It's going to be, it's going to be real, real all over again. I'm 
just busy pushing as much damage as fast as we can. Probably going to be smart to fall back towards the base here this next uh, next chance we get. Because we're going to be busy kids. Pew, pew, pew. All right. Tempting to keep this pressure up with the LRMs. Maybe there are still some plays we have. Sorry, this is kind of bugging out or being weird. Can't tell. That looks that looks correct though. Got some vehicles. That looks like a rifleman. And an SRM carrier. Four D looks like it's got a uh, large lasers on it. Looks like they might be preparing to go back on offense. It wouldn't surprise me with how many forces they've got. We might take that flank on the way back just because it's pretty safe and out of the way. We gotta shoot this thing with the small lasers. The dragon's heat on the way might be a problem. go. It's going to be time to move these guys. Actually, I think the first chance we get, we're going to move them. Minimal damage for now, Decker, but your fun time is over. Uh, 
it's not a terrible jump, especially if they decide to keep shooting at him. Uh, SRM carrier, definitely public enemy number one. Ooh, it did not die. That's scary. All right. Is it about to move? No. I think we pushed it back a turn. this thing dies. All right, so we got to defend the base until we extract. We're not careful it'll be easy for them to overrun the extraction point and they have nothing left to defend which means i think they just want our patootie <laughs> shooting missiles at vehicles in MechWarrior 5, especially if they're not stream missiles, they just sort of like carpet bomb vehicles and smash them into the ground. But the way vehicle defense works in this game, you know, it's really easy to, like this, look, it did effectively no damage to that vehicle with an LRM-20 or whatever it is. A lot of missiles. Okay. So for now, we did manage to cool the dragon down. We're going to take this uh, kind of long circuitous route to get around the bad guys. How far can we jump in comparison? Not far enough. We're going to have to go just as, just as fast as we can, honestly. Your own. Let's see what they're doing. Okay. Two scouts for the front lance is probably a good idea for the next time I do this. Uh, it could be that we can reserve them out. Especially because we're the only ones with turrets left. can do another coolant vent, which means I kind of like to jump just to build some evasion. Our jumps aren't very good though, unfortunately. I really don't think base has any kind of line of sight on anyone. We'll take out the Gallant. Which 
just manage our heat. I'm sure our turn for shooting is going to come. It looks like the other reinforcement waves, now that the base is destroyed, fall off of there, which is nice. This Lance is still kind of milling around in the middle of the map. Going to reserve our backfielders. Here comes the rifleman. What's got PPCs? Wow, and large lasers. Woof. Woof. Well, good thing the Thunderbolt is in a particularly punchy mood. Let's... the story with this thing. Nice shooting. Now it's time to move these guys. Okay. Just try and disable it as much as possible. Actually, the jump isn't that bad. I was worried that we wouldn't get enough out of the jump. It's going to have to be a perfect hit to kill it. There we go. That is exactly the kind of fight a rifleman does not like to be in. And that lance is not coming to help. Wait them out. All 
Okay. Kind of hoping we could back off a little bit. There we go. Prepare for die. Just wait them out. We'll wipe them out if we can. I don't know if there's too much of a point, but we'll see. Nice shooting, quick draw. Or not quick draw, Kentaro. going hit for hit with this lance. try for that. Some shots went in. Looks like we got it, yeah. And this is going to be the last of the LRMs from the uh, Orion.
Okay. So we have this lockdown. Knockdown. I think I said lockdown. Words are hard, though, as we all know. In a hurry here to start rotating out our damaged forces with fresh ones. It's pretty clear that this lance isn't going to move towards the base because that would be a bad, bad tactical call. I think we can continue to press with Decker. He still has coolant dump. Is that in forest? It is. Only need a couple shots to get in there. All right. That's the end of that, Kentaro. And then the quick draw. I think we'll jump down here and breeze. I don't know what my read on this is. Petrified with fear, maybe? I don't know what they're doing. I'm really surprised that wasn't a kill shot but not the end of the world. And then she's going to have to either sprint or jump to get anywhere. You guys, if you're a fan of the channel at all, you knew this was coming. <laughs> uh, miss on all counts. Uh, but the show, the show must go on, right? There we go. Pew, pew, pew. All right, Sumire, please take us out of here. Pretty long mission, those attack defense missions. Crazy long, really. We went all in on salvage, looks like. <laughs> Even with our bonuses, our payout is pretty laughable. 
got a little bit of repairs to do. Nothing huge. Look at that. Look at that. Just mountains of destroyed things. Three lances, I think, we took on. I think we're going to pull the uh, Warhammer off the field. Complete. Giving us a 70 ton mech. And I'd like to take that um, Kentaro off as well. Build another one of those. What else are we looking at? We've got a chunk of Wolverine. We fought Phoenix Hawks, we just haven't had any of it. Let's take that piece of Rifleman as well. Hopefully we'll get the weapons, who knows. Doesn't look like it. Oh, we got an SRM-6 with plus damage on it. We've got the Irby. And the Wolverine. Pretty solid salvage. It's weird that it doesn't say anything about killing the pilot for this piece of advice. Because that, that's where you get your, your salvage. Okay. Uh, so we're probably going to call it there. I'm going to do my housekeeping if you want to stick around for that. But other than that, not too much going on until we do this uh, story mission. So the Warhammer has this piece of special equipment called... Optimized capacitors. A little bit more. And by a little bit, it's actually quite a lot more energy damage. You can see it's uh, short range profile is pretty respectable on this mech. Um, though I think it's melee is, I mean, 100 plus the chassis, uh, chassis quirk. I don't know what the chassis quirk is that gives it 70 plus 30. It doesn't have hands. It doesn't have anything. But that's that's really respectable, honestly. Um, and it's pretty unlikely that we're actually going to use the Warhammer in its proper capacity well, it says it's a brawler and we're going to make it a brawler, but not like it thinks we're going to. I have 10 more tons to play with. Firepower just tanked, heat efficiency just exploded. Um, mounts for jet, jump jets, which we're definitely going to do. Oh, we're going to have to buy them. Boy, we're buying more jump jets now than ever in the history of this game, I swear. Alright, there we go. Okay, our heat efficiency is still incredible. Our armor is maxed. Now. There's a ballistic slot here. How very interesting. We can do some crazy stuff with this. But what we want to do is we want to put um, 
uh, large lasers on it. bit too heavy but I think if we drop the SRM there we go and it looks like we could get away with if we really wanted this extra ton of amp, uh, of armor we could get away with tossing off those heat sinks At least one of them looks something like that. Um, oh, that's not what we want to do. We're going to take off the machine guns and put on small lasers. Use this heat sink. You're going back where you belong. Pew. That's about what we want to see. We pretty much maintain our long firing distance. Apparently our melee attacks are gonna be absolutely devastating. Looks like we'll be looking at putting behemoth in this behemoth. Just giving it a final look over, deciding if there's anything else I want to tweak, but I really don't think so. We'll definitely uh, be looking forward to testing it out. The only thing that it's going to suffer with is it's going to look terrible because these are going to be empty um, and it's still a fairly slow mech even with jump jets. But with large lasers, two large lasers on the torsos, it's going to be a great contributor. I think we're pretty much uh, ready to put this Wolverine away. I can't, I can't see a future where we're going to use it. Okay. He's selling our small arms. What is the TCE? <laughs> this is but he's, I mean, he's selling our ordnance without permission. I dumped the guns to buy cheap but high quality replacements. A portion of the profits funds these little morale boosting events. I've been hosting Everybody Wins. We're not going to turn a blind eye, especially because he's selling our guns without permission. Let's check this out. It doesn't seem to be happy with our decision. We're going to pay him for what he does. And we're going to back him up. Hmm. That's a, that's a very fair deal that we're offering him. He's, he's not cool with it though. Yeah, this is, this is a good point. We got some money.
we'll see. We'll see how this pans out. Okay, the quick draw is done. We could wait for the Warhammer. Why don't we just wait for the Warhammer? Let's see. I think everything else that we're going to do for the ship is going to be very expensive. 360, that's not the end of the world. No, that's okay. Especially because we're about to do a story mission and they pay really well. There we go. Alright guys, thanks for coming. Um, I'm going to sign off for now and then we'll do this story mission uh, next time. Where we take out the new Grange. Thanks for watching.